Uh, Lisa Mumbin. I actually come from the Jawan tribe and um, it's a pretty big tribe. It covers a big area, 55,000 square kilometres, and um, I've always lived in Catherine, born in Catherine. I grew up to be, you know, I was really a quiet person, but um, being part of my elders' um, fights, you know, the long journey that they've taken on since, you know, I've been part of it, I've actually um, been, um, been worked in within the Council of Elders to actually, you know, be strong for our land and our people. I wasn't even born then. They've, um, you know, talked about it a lot, but um, it was probably later on that they um, kind of went broader with, with the fights because of the Baranga Statement and um, a lot, lot of our um, elders took part in, in that march. They've been a big, big part, of, even a big player to the, you know, I speak only for the Baranga Statement and that was just one of the biggest, biggest um, thing that um, they stepped out to help not only, you know, our people but all people to make that stand. Other than that, um, my elders were pretty, were very, very strong in, um, you know, standing for, for their country. Given what they fought for, um, the, the elders, and it was more or less especially, you know, Jawin country that they fought very hard for. Um, they, they, they fought meant, meant everything in their life. And um, they, they had a vision. And the vision that they, they had was, was, was the future for, for the ones that were coming up. You know, after fighting for their land and gaining their land, they wanted to put something together that's going to, you know, really work for our people. You know, they wanted to use their land for the better. When I talk about that vision, is about putting something together to take people forward.